Next on KCAL 9 News at 8, a man opens fire in a Southland fast food restaurant hitting a small boy. Police respond with gunfire. We're live with the very latest. Also, a young boy is caught in the crossfire of deadly gunfight. We'll have details next. He had a dream and a message of nonviolence honoring Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Thousands come out to pay tribute. And the earth opens up in Van Nuys. Get ready for a traffic nightmare. We are live with the latest on this huge sinkhole. KCAL 9 News at 8 starts right now. Now, Pat Harvey, Carrie Kilbride, and Byron Miranda with weather. Watching KCAL 9 News at 8. And we begin tonight with breaking news, a shooting in Lincoln Heights. Larry Welk is live in Sky 9 over the scene. He joins us with the latest. Larry? Gary and Pat, that's right. This shooting here on the 2700 block of Lincoln Park Boulevard happened right in front of these apartment buildings. Now four people were hit by gunfire. One of them in critical condition, all of them transported to nearby County General Hospital. Right now, investigators on scene trying to piece it all together. But a shooting here in Lincoln Park leaves four people down. Reporting live overhead, I'm Larry Welk at Sky 9. Back to you in the studio. Okay, Larry, thank you. A tragic story we are following tonight. A two-year-old boy is dead, shot inside a Burger King in Pomona. Well, the boy's mother tells police the man stood up and started shooting. Jennifer Savi is live in Pomona with new information. Jennifer. Pat, if this story actually played out the way the police believed it did now, it is almost unbelievable. A mother takes her toddler to this fast food restaurant for a burger. It turns out to be his last meal. It was the height of lunch hour, and this Pomona Burger King was busy with people. Two of them, a mother and her two-year-old son, were sitting here. At a nearby table, two men apparently strangers. And the mother has indicated that there's no relation whatsoever. She doesn't know this individual. Um, apparently unprovoked, he gets up, walks over and shoots the victim and then flees. He runs to a strip club about a block away where police find him at a payphone and try to talk him in. However, the suspect began making statements such as just shoot me. That's when police say they decided to pepper spray the man in an effort to subdue him. But police and witnesses say he was not. Police swooped on him. When they swooped on him, they told him, put your hands up. For him to put his hands up, he only put one hand up and reached in his pocket and said, and pulled it out and boom, they, they shot him. The suspect lay dead in the street. The little boy pronounced dead in an ambulance and customers left panicked and perplexed. I was in the drive through trying to get, you know, some hamburgers. And while I was waiting, people just ran out of the restaurant and started screaming, go get that guy. And well, everybody turned in, you know, it was pandemonium. And everybody was just crazy. Now, those customers, um, along with a man who was sitting at the table with the suspect, are now being questioned by police. None of them have been allowed to leave because, as you might imagine, what they know and what they saw is crucial to figuring out why. As for why, right now, police have no motive. Uh, one privately wondered to me if perhaps this man was on drugs because it's really inexplicable. Right now, this looks as if it's just a completely random shooting of a little baby. In Pomona, Jennifer Sabi, KCAL 9 News. Jennifer, thank you. More gunfire to report. Another deadly shooting. This one, a drive-by attack in Compton that took the life of a seven-year-old boy. Harlena Wynn is live in Compton tonight with the latest. Lena? Yeah, Carrie, investigators are still looking for three or four men involved in this morning's shooting, and they hope to catch them before any more violence breaks out, perhaps in retaliation. Nearly uh, 12 hours after this morning's shooting, detectives were still at the scene in the 14500 block of Harris Street in Compton. A seven-year-old boy was shot some seven times this morning. He was caught in the crossfire of suspected rival gangs. The boy later died at the hospital. Now, it started after 8 o'clock this morning when suspects driving a stolen Ford Blazer hit a parked car and then drove away. Now, when the people inside the house came out to inspect the damage, that's when the Blazer returned and someone opened fire. The only person hit was the little boy. They said this is King's Day and we're supposed to be, you know, peaceful now and loving everyone. And I, it's sad. I don't know what to say. And I'm just hurt that this can happen to a young boy that life has never even started. He didn't get a chance to even to live his life. I have no idea what's going on, but I just hope they find the killer quick because it's, it's 
it's just too much. And this is it's the tragedy. This is a seven year old baby. It's sad. Now, this isn't the first time something has happened here. There have been at least two other shootings, at least one other person killed in front of that house in the past couple of months. I am told by sheriff's headquarters that uh, detectives are serving a search warrant right now. They may have found some more clues. We will give you an update a little bit later on. Live tonight in Compton, Lena Wynn, KCAL 9 News. Back to you. Okay, Lena, thank you. We continue now with more breaking news tonight. And Larry Wolk is overhead in Sky 9 with this breaking news, Larry. That's right. It's Broadway and Main Streets. You can see this is a uh, car fire here, but what, it's a van. It's an ice cream truck, actually. But what makes this so dangerous is where it's at. It's at a gas station right next to some propane tanks, and there is another explosion there. We have seen several of these explosions. The LAPD has blocked off the area right now, and they are making sure that no pedestrians get into the area. The first fire truck has just arrived on scene, but that is the third explosion that we've seen here. You can imagine how frightening, there's another one right there. Uh, so you can imagine how frightening this is for the folks that live next door to this gas station and also the surrounding area. And also firefighters have to contend at the bottom of your picture is a propane tank. And then as I move around here, you can see that, uh, look at that, another uh, explosion there coming from underneath. It appears that the propane hose comes off that propane tank and is directly underneath the van. Then over to the right, two smaller propane tanks there on the right side of your picture, not to mention the fact that the gas station is right there as well. You can see another one of those explosions. The fire truck pulled up right next to it as they would normally battle a fire by uh, taking out the hose and then getting right on the van and putting it out. But in this case, they had to get back for cover. Now they're going to try and start uh, moving over to try and get a little bit closer. They moved the truck a little farther back. There's another one of these gas explosions. So not your normal car fire. This is a van, an ice cream truck. Again, Broadway and Maine is where we're at right now. And you can see that uh, at this point, this van completely gone. It looks like the propane tank. We don't know if that propane hose was purposely put down there or there might have been some sort of accident while they were accessing that propane. Uh, but at, at any rate, the firefighters really have their hands full. And again, the LAPD doing a good job. They were the first ones to call up and say, we need to block off this intersection, get everybody away from this, because uh, at any point right now, this thing could explode. And it indeed has exploded a couple of times. Well, it looks like they, they are really getting this uh, under control as we speak, Larry. Just um, moments ago, they start uh, putting the hoses on this truck. And as we can see, the flames are, well, there's another explosion, however, but uh, the flames seem to be disappearing for now. I guess they're going to try to move this truck once they get the fires out. Well, I think the first thing they want to do, Pat, is uh, just try and get the flames put out. At this point, though, it's very dangerous. They're standing so close. They're backing off a little bit. Uh, but you can see, even with the water, it appears that there's some sort of fuel source right there. And there's another one of those explosions there. It appear Look at that. So it's just a very dangerous situation here for firefighters because, uh, again, that hose reaching from the propane tank directly underneath the van. Uh, so you would suppose that at this point there's still some fuel moving into that area. So no amount of water can really help this. Now, the good news is that firefighters are on scene and they'll be able to uh, contain it to this area. You can see the firefighter on the right side of your picture moving over and it looks like he's going to try and contend with that tank and uh, he's going to try and see if he can uh, cut off the supply of the fuel. But at this point, uh, the firefighters uh, just trying to get the flames under control, pouring lots of water. Now, we haven't seen if they've hooked up to a hydrant or not. Uh, we'll pull to a wide shot. And if they have not hooked up to a hydrant yet, uh, the only water supply they'll have is what they brought with them in that truck uh, until they can hook up to the, uh, uh, the fire hydrant, which wouldn't be very difficult. But again, uh, normally a car fire, a routine thing for firefighters. This ice cream truck, though, is anything but routine uh, right now. There. You can see the hose is burning. You see the blue flame there right in the middle of your picture? Yeah. That's yeah, what's fueling this. It really looks, Larry, like uh, a gas just continues to uh, spew from that uh, from the hose, and these, these blasts that we see periodically uh, might be you know, a buildup of gas underneath that vehicle that, that just continues to explode. A moment ago, Larry, it looked like that firefighter was looking around that tank to see if there was a main shutoff valve that he could get to, huh? That's right, exactly. Uh, he looked over there, he walked over, and I think as he did, 
there was another one of those flash fires, and I think you're absolutely right, Kerry. What happens is that uh, as the gas starts to build up, uh, at some point it just, uh, poof, just ignites, and that's what causes those explosions. And uh, the other thing uh, that to look out for is what's around that van, because there were other vehicles. You can see there's a big uh, bus, uh, sort of an RV-type looking uh, vehicle right there next to it, uh, and so the ambient heat there from that uh, fire could uh, be a danger. So at this point, they really want to isolate this area. And uh, this is by far the strangest thing we've seen when it comes to a car fire here uh, in that uh, they just can't get it out because there's a, a supply of propane that is going right to the van. Uh, and at this point, they haven't been able to knock down the bulk of the flames, but certainly they haven't been able to knock down that propane uh, source right there. And that's what they'll have to do next. Okay, Larry, uh, thanks for that. We're going to stay on top of the story, or you will certainly stay on top of the story, literally from Sky9, and uh, we'll report back to you uh, as soon as we can when there are more developments. All right, that's Larry Wilk reporting live from the downtown area. Moving on here, his life's work helped shape a nation's destiny and set a people free. Today, thousands turned out to honor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. on this national holiday, paying tribute to his legacy. And as Mark Coogan reports, for many at today's parade, his message of understanding and peace resonates more loudly than ever. The parade, the marching units, were just the beginning, just skimming the surface of a day to celebrate the legacy of a murdered civil rights hero. It's about the strides that we made, where, we, where we've come from, where we're at today. <laughs> University professor Christopher Chima recalled arriving in the U.S. from Nigeria on Martin Luther King's birthday in 1975. The dream is the most important thing uh, because we all need this dream so that everyone can have a good future, a bright future in America for everybody. But on a day of remembrance, current events came crowding in. We don't want your racist war. None more current than the possibility of war in Iraq. We can only settle our differences at the peace table. If Dr. Martin Luther King was here, he'd be in the forefront of the peace movement that's being reinvigorated. So how are race relations? Some in the crowd noted the general absence of whites and Latinos and Asians among the parade watchers. The world is still divided, and it's still a matter of uh, uh, dividing race. Uh, creed kind and uh, it's it's not what he really wanted it's better than it was far better than it was but it's not really what he wanted i would dare say on this holiday president bush said there is still a lot of work to do to fulfill dr king's dream the president honored the civil rights leader during a speech at a predominantly black church in maryland he says progress has been made but there is still prejudice holding people back as we remember the dream of Martin Luther King and remember his clear vision for a society that's equal and society full of justice, this society must remember the power of faith. The president went on to say there is still a need for us to hear the words of Martin Luther King Jr. so that the word of hope reaches everywhere in the land. The search for a missing pregnant woman stretches here to the Southland. Now her husband is breaking his silence. We'll have the latest on the investigation next. Plus, he's a fugitive of justice charged with raping women. We have new details tonight as police search for the heir to the Max Factor fortune. Also, it may start getting more expensive to drive. And we're not just talking gas prices here. Brace yourselves for higher fees. We'll explain just ahead. And are you ready for some football? The most watched event of the year is just a week away close enough for you to go. What do you need to know about Super Bowl Sunday? We'll tell you. That's all ahead on KKL 9 News at 8. There's a big advantage to being the Southland's largest television news team. It's what's actually fueling the fire. That when important fire. stories break, no There's one brings it to you faster than on. CBS 2 News and KCAL 9 News. First on the scene. It collided with a truck that was trying to cross. First to uncover the important details. 35 power poles went down. First with information to keep your family safe. CBS 2 News, KCAL 9 News. First when you need to know. Having the gang over for the big game bash? Smart. 
the smaller, faster warehouse store. The husband of Lacey Peterson is finally breaking his silence. The search for the missing Modesto woman briefly came to Southern California this weekend. Our Laura McLaughlin has the story. One day after Scott Peterson brought the search for his wife to the Los Angeles area, volunteers in Modesto began tearing down the command center, not because they're giving up hope, but because allegations are now interfering with their work. The command center in Modesto is always going to close next Friday. We decided to just close it early because once the uh, allegations of Scott having a girlfriend and a $250,000 insurance policy on Lacey came out, we just knew it would be bombarded with media and we wanted to close it because the volunteers wouldn't be able to concentrate on finding Lacey. This weekend, Scott Peterson was surrounded by the media when he decided to go ahead with an L.A. search for his wife, Lacey, even though volunteers called it off on Friday. We were just afraid that it would turn into a media circus and the family would be bombarded with questions, which they were yesterday, and, and that's exactly what it turned into. Not only extra attention for Scott, but the Doubletree Hotel as well. Since yesterday's gathering, the hotel has received a dozen threats from people who accuse the hotel of supporting Scott. The hotel says they only let the search meeting go ahead because Lacey's family approve. Today, Janie Peterson, Scott's sister, said the Peterson family is standing by him. Scott has our absolute and complete support, and we do not believe any speculation that he was involved in Lacey's disappearance. There is an urgent plea tonight for fugitive Andrew Luster to turn himself in. That plea coming from Luster's attorney. The famous fugitive is the heir to the Max Factor fortune who vanished during his rape trial. Reporter Christine Penza is the only reporter to speak with Luster's lawyer. Right over here. Attorney Roger Diamond met me at the spot on 10th Street where police found his client's abandoned SUV yesterday. Fugitive Andrew Luster, the heir to the Max Factor cosmetic fortune, vanished January 3rd during the highly publicized rape trial that could send him to jail for life. Do you have any idea why your client's car would be here? I have no idea, but I have to tell you that the court has gagged the defense. That gag order limits what Diamond can say about the case, where Luster is accused of drugging and raping three women and videotaping the acts at his Muscle Shoals beach house. In court, Diamond argued it was consensual sex. What he will say about his missing client today... I have nothing to do with uh, his departure. It was a total surprise to me. I was working on his case Saturday, interviewing a witness, a key witness... And apparently, according to the reports, he'd already left. Now, here's an interesting note. Andrew Luster disappeared on a Friday. Whoever parked the car here might have realized that it wouldn't be ticketed for at least a week when the street cleaners came around. A neighbor I spoke with last night, Kathy Rubens, tells me she first noticed the Toyota 4Runner parked near her home more than two weeks ago, about the time Luster skipped out on his million-dollar bail. I just knew it wasn't my neighbor's car and it didn't belong in the neighborhood. Street cleaning is on Thursdays and they ticketed it for three weeks. They have the car, but the question remains, where in the world is Andrew Luster? If you could talk to your client, if you could say something to your client right now, what would it be? To come back. Come back. The case isn't even over yet. The jury's deliberating. And the jury will resume deliberating tomorrow morning. The police will try to get a search warrant to look inside Luster's SUV for clues of his whereabouts. A family tragedy in Anaheim. A mother and two of her children are recovering tonight from stab wounds. As Orange County reporter Michelle Geely tells us, police say they were stabbed by the children's father. It's a terrible. You can't see. I see in my eyes. I never forget this scene, you know. Everywhere, blood, 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 everywhere. Harjinder Gill is haunted by the screams of children and the gashes inflicted on them and on their mother. It was about 11 o'clock last night when a woman at the Fairway Village Apartments in Anaheim shouted for help. Police say her husband, 29-year-old Gina Ramirez, had slit his wife's throat as well as two of his children's. There, there's no doubt that he was he was trying to kill his family. With the, the type of injuries that were inflicted upon them, there is no doubt that what he was trying to do was take their lives. Sharon Christian lives steps away. Through the backyard, I heard through the patio, um, just screaming from a woman, the type of screams, I mean, I've never heard before. And the yelling that he's, he's killing us, he's going to stab my babies, he's killing my babies, he's killing me. And this went on for, for at least four minutes. 
Christian, a registered nurse, knew she had to do something immediately. She ran toward the apartment and saw the mother with three massive neck wounds, holding twins in her arms along with a kitchen knife. Three other youngsters in the home witnessed it all. When it was over, three family members had been brutally stabbed, an eight-year-old boy and girl and their mother. Gina Ramirez, their husband and father, suffered knife wounds as well, at least some self-inflicted. Authorities eventually got him to surrender. He was placed under arrest at Western Medical Center. His wife and injured children are hospitalized. And today, detectives still have no idea what sent the unemployed Ramirez into such a rage. That was Michelle Geely reporting. Well, time is running out for Saddam Hussein. Just ahead tonight, could a showdown with Iraq now be just weeks away? We'll have the latest on the UN inspector search. The cloning controversy is all the hype hurting research. Scientists say they're getting a bad rap. This is KCAL 9 News at 8. Field trip to the zoo. Soccer practice every Saturday. Baseball practice Sunday. Dropping Sally off at the garden show. Picking Sally up from the garden show. Isn't it about time we packed you up for college? Dad, I'm nine. Chrysler Voyager, so comfortable and versatile, you'll look for just about any excuse to take one out for a drive. Hey, Frank, ever think about moving? now and get unlimited anytime minutes from AT&T Wireless. Finally, you can call all you want. Yes, tomorrow. Be there. When you want. I'll see you. I'll see you Friday night. To where you want across the U.S. Minutes without limits. Unlimited anytime minutes. No long distance or roaming charges. All for $99.99 a month. Hurry in. Offer ends February 8th. Okay, who's got my phone? Now get a free Nokia 3590 phone after mail-in rebate. That's Life from AT&T Wireless. What are family values? For small families, Corolla is a big value and the best compact car in initial quality three years in a row. For large families, it's the Toyota Sienna, the minivan with the highest overall rating from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. For adventurous families, the powerful Toyota Sequoia with tons of room for everyone and everyone's toys. Ideal family values are at your Toyota dealer today. So. Set up a department meeting for tomorrow and put in a call to the client. Get them up to speed. Anything else? Here's a thought. Instead of saving money by not using paper, we could just go to Staples. Yeah, with Staples 365 savings, they compare prices and back it up with a 110% price match guarantee. I like that. Jot that down. Low prices on every item every day. Staples 365 savings. Savings made easy. For all the mountains you will climb together. I do. For all the obstacles you will face in life. I can. For all the things you will need to fulfill your dreams. Jeep Grand Cherokee. Jeep Grand Cherokee offers power, comfort, and luxury. It's true love. Qualified returning Daimler Chrysler lessees can lease Grand Cherokee Laredo for just $2.99 a month. Strong words from Secretary of State Colin Powell today about Saddam Hussein's stalling tactics. White House officials admit they don't know where Saddam is hiding his weapons, but they are convinced that he never destroyed large amounts of anthrax and nerve gas. Powell says it is time for Iraq to come clean. It is their obligation to come forward, and we cannot let, let them dribble this information and dribble these items out uh, for as long as they choose to in an effort to thwart the will of the international community. Some U.N. Security Council members are urging the U.S. to go slow, urging a political solution and more time for more inspections. Many scientists are worried that the recent cloning controversy could cause lawmakers to step up their oversight of research. One of the world's leading cloning researchers works at the University of Georgia. His work involves cloning animals to provide more and better food supplies. My biggest concern is that there may be overreaching in some laws that come about. I'm hopeful that there will be an international ban on cloning of humans. Uh, but there are many uses, good uses of cloning technology. 
Steve Stice says there's promising work going on in stem cell research. Proponents say it could one day help cure spinal cord injuries like the one that paralyzed actor Christopher Reeve. Southern California weather in one second. First, though, a word about the new digs. Is this beautiful? It's pretty neat, huh? We're really enjoying I'll it. Tell you and what. We certainly hope you are oh, as yeah. well. It's beautiful. We're going to so show you a studio. lot more, you know, in the next week or so. All kinds of interesting things. Byron, I've been spending half the day walking behind him, cleaning fingerprints. He's touching everything, you know. By it's going to be crazy. Byron likes things spick and span and new. He's like a, a, a kid anal. with a new toy, yeah. right, Byron? Yeah, yeah, and you guys do look. Marvelous. Well, thank you, darling. So do you. That's Fernando Lamas, you should say. Marvelous, marvelous. <laughs> it is time for the weather. A beautiful day, just like the beautiful new set here at KCAL Channel 9. Carrie says, man, talk about that Channel 9. It looks good. It does look good. The temperatures across the Southland, you don't really need a jacket in Burbank. 57 degrees, uh, Sherman Oaks, Encino, those areas in the valley in the high 50s, 58 in downtown. We're in the high 50s all over the place. If you get in the car, or the bus, rather, and you bus over to Fullerton. It's 60 degrees there, 57 in Riverside, 56 in Oxnard. Take a look at the temperatures across the nation. This is when you can gloat. 8 degrees in Minneapolis, St. Paul. That's without a wind chill. 27 in St. Louis, 21 degrees in New York. That is, what, 11 degrees below freezing. 54 degrees in Atlanta and 54 in Miami. We're warmer than Miami right now. Satellite loop. Yes, we have some clouds to the north to the west and to the south of us. When I come back in just a bit, Pat and Carrie will talk about your five-day forecast. I'll let you know if there's any rain in it, plus if there's a heat up down the road. We'll see you guys back here momentarily. And you do really look good. You look good, 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 both of y'all. Thanks, Byron, you too. Byron, thank you. See you in a few minutes. Still ahead, there is a mess in Van Nuys tonight. Talk about a mess. <laughs> a gaping hole now sits where the street used to be. I'm Lisa Siegel in Van Nuys. This used to be an intersection. Now it is just one very large sinkhole. How long will it take to fix this? I will have the answer coming up next. Also, you may have to dig deeper for the DMV. Higher fees could be ahead. All in the name of balancing the state budget. We'll tell you just how much more you'd have to pay next. And Super Bowl Sunday, a week away and just two hours south. What should you know before you head out to the big game? That's next on KCAL 9 News at 8. But first, here are tonight's daily three numbers, 1, 0, and 1. And here's the winning Fantasy 5, 16, 18, 21, 23, and 24. <laughs> There's still time for Super Bowl delivery from Paul's. With no payments and no interest for 18 months, pay nothing till the summer of 2004 at Paul's TV. I am with him. With a spacious cabin, an available DVD entertainment system, and a powerful 4.7 meter V8 engine, the new Lexus GX is an adventure in luxury. See your Southern California Lexus dealer. Chickens have breasts, wings, and thighs. But no one has ever found the nuggets on a chicken. Not there either. Chicken breast strips from Carl's Jr. Because chickens don't have nuggets. Want to be the center of attention? Get into a 2003 Chevy Tahoe or Suburban. With $2,000 cash back or 0% APR, they sure look good. That's $2,000 cash back or 0 APR on a 2003 Tahoe or Suburban. Now that'll get your attention. 2,000 cash back or zero APR on Tahoe and Suburban. Now, Pat Harvey, Carrie Kilbride, and Byron Miranda with weather. You're watching KCAL 9 News at 8. A busy intersection in Van Nuys is closed off tonight because of a water main break. The streets were flooded, residents left without water for a time, and the intersection collapsed, leaving a giant sinkhole. 
Lisa Siegel is live in Van Nuys with the latest on the damage and how long it before things get back to normal. Here. We are at the intersection of Haskell and Satakoy. Take a look at this. This is actually a piece of the road, if you can believe this. And this is the intersection or what used to be the intersection. About two this morning, water just started gushing out for about four to five hours. That's how long it took them for them to actually turn the water off four to five more hours to clean it up and it's going to take three to four more days for them to fix this intersection. It was like high tide in the middle of the valley. It looked like an ocean out here. That's how much water was coming out. The water main broke about 2 a.m. at the intersection of Satakoy and Haskell, flooding streets and sending what seemed like a river of mud into the area. It was a disaster. It was all it was all flooded. Water was all the way up to the grass right here. You know, it was it was intense. It was it was just chaos out here. By the time crews were done for the day and water was turned off, the intersection was one huge sinkhole, about 50 to 60 feet wide. It was like a geyser shooting up. Jacqueline McCree has lived in the neighborhood for 12 years. She says she's seen breaks here before, but nothing like this. This one felt like an earthquake. You know, it was like a rumble and then it shook and then you could feel the water running on, in the pipes underneath the street. It's kind of spooky. And back here live again, just take a look at this mess, all starting about 2 a.m. And it looks like it's going to take at least three to four more days for them to clean this mess up. Another thing just down the road is the Budweiser plant, and this is where they get a lot of their water. Jokingly, some of the people with the DWP said they were concerned that there wouldn't be enough water to make the beer for Super Bowl Sunday, but we are told they were just joking. There is plenty of beer out there. Again, three to four more days, so the area around this intersection is going to be closed. You need to take alternate routes. Live in Van Nuys, Lisa Siegel, KCAL 9 News. Yeah, they are pranksters at the DMV. Thank you. There is a push to increase vehicle registration fees to make up for California's budget shortfall. LA County Sheriff Lee Baca joining Mayor Jim Hahn and Assembly Speaker Herb Wesson to lobby for a measure which they say will protect police officers and emergency services threatened by budget cuts. If we fired every state employee, every park ranger, every prison guard, we would still be $11 billion short. This crisis is real, and oftentimes people think, is it really going to happen? Well, if we don't have money to pay for the public safety personnel, it will happen. The proposed average increase for each car is just over $100 a year. Officials say it's a fraction, though, of the DMV fees that motorists have saved since 1999. If you have called 911 recently in the city of Los Angeles, you know it takes longer for police to respond than in the past. Residents of South Central L.A. are feeling the impact the most. The number of officers patrolling L.A. streets now at a five-year low. According to an LAPD internal report, the LAPD's South Bureau has lost the most officers, and that's the area that leads the city in violent crime. The issue is, is when you remove resources from the street, the areas of the city that have a high propensity for street crime, violent crime, is going to be impacted more by the less visibility of patrol. South L.A. residents wait on average 10 and a half minutes for police to respond. That's up more than three minutes from two years ago. In other parts of the city, the wait is just over seven minutes. This Sunday Super Bowl may well only be for the super rich. If you find yourself scrambling to find any of the sold out tickets, you need to know that it will take a pirate's treasure chest to buy even the poorest of seats. Craig Victor reports on the price you'll pay next Sunday to see the Bucks and the Raiders in poison. <laughs> That old economics lesson about supply and demand is being played out at Qualcomm Stadium. If you want Super Bowl tickets, you're not alone. But if you haven't priced them, you're in for some sticker shock. I need a ticket for my husband, Edward Ramsey. He is a Raider fan, and he really wants to go to this game. And I have $100 for you. Unfortunately for these football fans, 100 bucks won't get them anywhere close to the game. One San Diego hotel says tickets are out there, but they are not for the frugal. I get a telephone call from a gentleman that has two Super Bowl tickets. He's looking for $7,000 for the pair. Seats are in the end zone, not that great of a seat. We did try shopping around online, and eBay had the closest thing to value pricing. We found a couple of seats that would be worthless at any other game, 1125 bucks for this Sunday. And compare that to four field seats. They've already been bid up to $9,200. A lot to pay to be here instead of at home. And for these Raider fans, they say for that money, they'd expect the best seats in the stadium. It's more exciting to see all the football players 
real live. And might, you may be able to get close enough to them to smack them on the fanny. <laughs> Qualcomm Stadium has a normal capacity of about 68,000 seats, but they've managed for Super Bowl to find a couple thousand other seats. So 70,000 football fans expected here on Sunday for the big game. We are in San Diego. I'm Craig Figner, KCAL 9 News. People reaching out to help those less fortunate. Miracles are happening south of the border. Just ahead, an inspiring story of Americans reaching out. Also, it removes wrinkles, but now there could be another benefit to Botox beating body odor. We'll tell you how coming up in health news. This is KCAL 9 News at 8. The Golden Globes with Jennifer and Brad backstage with the winners and our ET photo booth plus Joe Millionaire and Trista next ET tonight at 11 on KCAL 9. The Blake case behind the legal scenes. Next, celebrity justice as he cries for help from jail. I have no human contact. The troubled actor is rocked with another bombshell. CJ reveals the big shocker at his old house. Southern California GMC truck dealers. The Hare Krishna religious group can once again ask for donations at LAX. That group had been blocked from solicitating under a new ordinance which required 30-day permits and prohibited singing, dancing, chanting. But a U.S. District Court judge has issued a restraining order while he hears the Krishna's complaint. They are arguing the ordinance is a violation of the First Amendment right of free speech. Health care in the U.S. is far from perfect, but it's even worse in Mexico. Only those who work and pay into Social Security can receive it. If you're poor or out of work, you're simply out of luck. But as Randy Page discovered, miracles can happen in one small farming village when the Americans come to town. They come in private planes, doctors, nurses, translators, volunteers, with Liga International, the Flying Doctors of Mercy. On this weekend, a dozen planes make the trip from Southern California to remote airstrips. They will treat hundreds of patients in three small clinics before the weekend is over. Orange County eye surgeon Art Geibel is about to make miracles happen. He and two other ophthalmologists will remove dense cataracts from those who are blind in both eyes. Witness a miracle, the miracle of sight. <laughs> Yo estoy mirando, she says. I am seeing. Next door, audiologist Valerie Mendez is fitting children with hearing aids. The number of deaf children here is staggering. Many of the kids, like this little guy, had ear infections when they were younger that were untreated. And because of that, they are now profoundly hard of hearing. Valerie claps her hands. No reaction. Then the hearing aid is placed. And miracles happen. ¿Cuántos años tiene? Hey. Seis. Bye-bye. We leave El Fuerte to visit another clinic even more remote in the tiny village of San Blas. Here, the landing strip is made of dirt. In San Blas, the foot doctors are busy. Irvine podiatrist Victor Katya has operated on many crippled children here. On this day, a surprise visit from one of his former patients. And he runs fast and he's not having any problem keeping up with his friends. Martin is eight years old. This is how he looked when he was barely two, born with club feet. Dr. Katya performed surgery on both of Martin's feet six years ago. And here he is today showing off for the doctor who made it all possible. Just seeing these kids do well it makes it all worthwhile. <laughs> all right, way to go. Martine's mother calls it a miracle. But there's only so much these doctors can do. They can't heal this little girl's fatal skin disease, and they don't have the equipment to remove this girl's benign brain tumor. The faces of the children they can't help haunt the doctors on their way home. But it is the success stories that keep them coming back. Nurse Jackie Hansen began building the San Blas Clinic 18 years ago. She measures her success. One life at a time. Next month, they'll be back with another pocket full of miracles to give away. One life at a time.
Randy Page, KCAL 9 News. Well, what does the week ahead have in store on the weather front? Will these warm days stick around? Byron's just ahead with our forecast. And an avalanche sweeps down on skiers. We'll have the latest on the search for survivors next. This is KCAL 9 News at 8. Your money on KCAL 9 News, brought to you by Office Depot. What you need, what you need to know. Hi, I have to get copy your laser and inkjet papers. And California Kia retailers. Hurry, offer ends soon. An avalanche killed eight American backcountry skiers in eastern British Columbia. Two others were hurt. It happened near a glacier 20 miles from the town of Revelstoke in the Canadian Rockies. The victims' names and hometowns weren't released. The party of skiers traveled by helicopter to a remote camp in the mountains using that as a base. One of the injured skiers is reported in stable condition. The status of the other is not known. Our weather now. Could we have had a nicer day for the big MLK parade what this morning, huh? What a wonderful day for a parade. Oh, it was yes. so nice. Uh, it was great. Yeah, it was bad that you guys made me run behind that car, but that's okay. <laughs> I, well, still had, I still had a good time going to the MLK, yeah. so we don't have room in this car yeah. for you, Byron, so you just run behind us. Don't you believe that's me. No, that was a great time. Well, let's do a shout-out yeah. to all the folks that were out there today to celebrate Martin Luther King's that's birthday, nice. right? So God bless them. And we have a beautiful forecast over the next five days. There's no rain in the forecast. I'm going to tell you that right now. But first, let's show you what it looks like outside. You know where that is? Elliot. Boy, you are so smart. Wow. Carrie, is she smart? <laughs> huh? Tell you what, I, I couldn't have read that. LAX, you know, no. That's that's why we pay her the big money. <laughs> she read it right there. It's LAX. <laughs> if you would have said Burbank, you would have been in trouble. All right, the uh, high today, guys, was actually 68 degrees. The average high for this date is 68. Uh, the average low was 48. We were at double nickels, 5.5. The record for this date. 82. The sun set at 510. Now, let's show you. We're going to fly away from LAX, and we're going to go up to Lancaster, 54. If you add three to that, you get 57. Down where? You can see it on the map right here. I'll circle it. In Long Beach, two degrees above 57 is 59. Do you need a jacket outside? Probably not. Just a sweater across uh, the Southland right now because the temperatures are in the Upper 50s to low 60s in some areas. Uh, Fullerton's clocking in at 60 degrees. 56 right now at Oxnard and 58 in Santa Monica. From Oakland through Burbank, or not Burbank, from Bakersfield down to Santa Maria. Look at the clouds just off the coast. But a lot of the clouds are staying away from us. And the reason for it, we have high pressure over our area. There will be some fog somewhere tomorrow. Patchy fog in the forecast tomorrow. Rain right now, the radar is dry, and there will not be any rain in our forecast. Most of the nation is quiet. No problems getting off the runways if you're heading to New York, Philadelphia, down to Atlanta, back to New Orleans. 29 chilly degrees will be the temperature in Big Bear Lake. 51 nice degrees in Palm Springs. When you wake up in the morning at 6.30, it will feel like 46 in Mission Viejo. Your forecast tomorrow looks like this, guys. Your high will be 69 in Riverside, 63 in Maryland. Marietta, your five-day. Look at these beautiful graphics we have now. I like this. Your high tomorrow downtown L.A. will be 68 degrees. It will warm up to 75 by the weekend. This is a great-looking forecast. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any rain in it. We could use some rain. I'll try to find some rain somewhere. Maybe I'll go down to uh, Miami or something and bring some back <laughs> to you. I will fine tune this at 9 and 10. <laughs> I think right. you're just trying to get a day off. I, I'd like that. Well, a couple yeah. days. A couple days. Miami. Maybe a week. <laughs> okay, bye. All right, right. guys. <laughs> we'll work on it. Thank you. Making dental visits a dream. Coming up in health news, you don't need to be nervous anymore. We'll show you how the tooth doctors are pampering patients. That's all just ahead on KCAL 9 News at 8. Good girl. A groundbreaking study by Purina proves that dogs can live longer, healthier lives. After all these years, you haven't lost a step, you old hound. The 14-year study proves that dog chow nutrition, when fed properly over his lifetime, can significantly extend his healthy years. Okay, last one home buys breakfast. Mm -hmm. So he can keep on amazing you year after year. Gotta be the dog chow. Incredible dog food, incredible dogs. Purina dog chow brand. What happened? I ordered 200 oxen, but they sent us all these little wiener dogs. 200 oxen. Were you on a cell phone, sir? Well, yeah. Static. Here. Now you can get clear calls and do more. Because Sprint built the largest all digital, all PCS enhanced nationwide network from the ground up. For clarity, you can see and hear. Thanks. Now, this would have helped. Get unlimited PCS vision 300 anytime and unlimited night and weekend minutes from Sprint. 
Buick Rendezvous, as versatile as Southern California. Camping, hiking, beach, wherever, the rendezvous's made for it. Plenty of cargo room with leather appointed seating, it's $6,000 less than our X300. The Lexus does not have that third row seat. I got a six year old and a two year old and all of their stuff. I need the space. After cash back, this rendezvous CX is available for under $27,500. See your Southern California Buick dealer. Time now to see what's coming up on KCAL 9 News at 9. Sylvia Lopez joins us now live from the newsroom. Sylvia. Thanks, Pat. Coming up at the top of the hour, more tough words from Secretary of State Colin Powell telling reluctant nations at the U.N. to be ready for the consequences if Saddam Hussein fails to disarm. The latest on the showdown with Iraq at 9. Plus, bitter cold weather didn't stop activists on both sides of the affirmative action battle at the University of Michigan. They react to the Bush administration's stance as the case moves to the high court. And he can take a punch, but can a Palestinian boxer overcome his hardships to land a shot at Olympic gold? It all starts at 9 on KCAL 9 News. Now, back to you. Gary. Sylvia, thank you. We'll see you then. It can take years off your face, but can Botox actually stop body odor? German researchers say the same poison used to remove wrinkles is more effective than any deodorant now on the market. Scientists analyzed T-shirts worn while people were eating onions and garlic. One armpit was injected with Botox, the other with salt water, and the Botox drastically cut the odor. It also reduced wetness. In health and medicine news, if you get anxious when it's time to go to the dentist, cheer up. Health Watch reporter Dilva Henry finds many dentists are going the extra mile, offering some extras that might just take the visit or might just make the visit something to look forward to. There are flowers, candles, soft lights, even soft music. This looks like anything but what it is, a dentist's office, specifically Dr. Eddie Simons. But when patients come in, it's totally different. You don't feel like you're going to the dentist. That's the whole idea. The new trend in dentistry is to offer patients more than just a filling or root canal. It's to offer them comfort. Because as we all know, going to the dentist can be anything but comfortable. We've got aromatherapy in the rooms, so they just can start uh, unwinding as they get into the chair. It's comforting. It's uh, just kind of relaxing. Here at Millennium Spa in Sherman Oaks, Dr. Simon also offers his patients hand and foot massages, manicures and pedicures. To some patients, we even detail their cars if they like. He also offers his more challenging patients sleep dentistry. That's where they take a very mild and safe sedative so they can just snooze through it all. They wake up to a new smile. It's very simple. Dilva Henry, KCAL 9 News. He has been a spokesman for sneakers and fitness centers. But now Magic Johnson is taking on a new role. What does his HIV status have to do with it? We'll tell you next. Plus, he is bouncing a lot more than just a basketball tonight. And that's next on a KCAL 9 News 8. The Flex Your Power Weather Report is brought to you by the California Department of Birth to a baby girl. They've named her Natalia. It was a good reason for Kobe to miss practice this weekend. Now the question is, how much sleep is he going to miss? We will see. Well, we know you have many choices for news. We thank you for choosing KCAL 9. There is a lot more news to come. KCAL 9 News at 9 starts right now. Next on KCAL 9 News, more harsh words from the Bush administration to Saddam Hussein. And Secretary of State Colin Powell had a warning for the reluctant countries in the United Nations. Be ready for a quick response if Saddam Hussein refuses to disarm. Up to the minute details on the showdown with Iraq coming up. Plus, differences aside, the president joins the King family and the nation to celebrate the life of Martin Luther King Jr. And students at the University of Michigan use the holiday to get out their side of the fight for affirmative action as the Supreme Court prepares to hear the case. Good evening. I'm Dave Clark. And I'm Sylvia Lopez. KCAL 9 News at 9 starts right now. Now, Sylvia Lopez, Dave Clark, and Byron Miranda with weather. You're watching KCAL 9 News at 9.